Hey, what's going on, everybody? I want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Hopefully, yours was better than mine. Um, I had a rough Christmas yesterday. I don't know what it is. I think I ate way too much previous days to Christmas, and I always wind up getting sick on Christmas. Last year, I had the Rona, and this year, I just pretty much had a stomach bug that she didn't like the Rona. My wife actually gave me the Rona test. Still not feeling the best, but I uh, figured I would do this video to tell everybody Merry Christmas and to uh, defend TGLN again. <clears throat> People, I have been doing this for many, many, many years now. It's, it's going on five years. I don't know if you've noticed it or not. You can scroll through the videos and you can see the very published. This network very first started out as a network that that welcomed any GMRS repeater and uh, Simplex node on here. And, um, you know, it, it talked you through how to do a lot of that stuff when it comes to the videos. <clears throat> and then it turned into a Simplex node because it just was a little bit easier to show you guys how to make them yourselves or sell them to you. And, uh, you know, with the pie shortages, that made it a little bit harder. And, uh, to, to get them across to you guys and then uh, once that happened I just kind of was like you know it's a good time to take a break I've been doing this for five years and over the past five years I've learned I can't trust people and so <clears throat> I am pretty much the sole person to run this you know um, when it comes to adding and marketing people and so I took it as a time to just kind of step back and, you know, some of you may notice that the website was taken down. Um, I did try to make everybody that was in our, our uh, network chat um, <clears throat> on Facebook Messenger aware of the new, once they started asking questions, um, where it was located. Uh, the website was never totally taken down. I just broke all the URLs. Um, the network's got several different URLs because it's got to get marketed. And over the years, I've had people turn in the network URLs to Facebook and YouTube and stuff and actually get them taken down. And uh, I think I finally figured out how to um, pr promote it without promoting it. And it took a little bit of time, but I figured it out. But anyways, I want to kind of um, explain to people. I know where my videos are being viewed from. I know where they're being viewed at. I know the demographic of what it is being viewed from. And I know where I market this stuff from. <clears throat> and it's mainly here in the U.S. It's here in the United States of America. And, that, and it is mainly geared towards the GMRS folks. That's where I actually promote it, is on GMRS Facebook groups and promoted on YouTube with Facebook or, or um, YouTube with GMRS and so for the fact and I made one video one video pretty much saying anybody is welcome but I never once said anything about the physical channel that you were using on your transmitter I never once said that but people take things and run and try to twist and manipulate it into the way they think that it could be. And I might have offered for people in the other countries to join. But when I know my videos aren't being watched in other countries, and it's a very, very slim chance that my video or, or somebody from another country would, would actually think about joining, I didn't see a problem with saying that. When out of all of your, your your viewers, you have maybe one or two people from another country viewing it. You really think those one or two people are going to jump on the bandwagon? I didn't. So it was worth the gamble of saying. And it, to be honest, it's a conversation piece. Because I knew somebody on another network would try and drag that out and portray it as a bad thing. Oh my god, he opened it up to everybody. Well, when you look at the video, yeah, it says all star nodes. Well, what ham do you know that is not going to play in their lane? I mean, really, think about it. 
you got to really use your noodle here, people. If you're a ham, and you, chances are you would get a GMRS license because you're a ham, so you're going to play by the rules. So you're going to get a GMRS license. And <clears throat> you're going to put your stuff on a GMRS frequency. I don't know any of the frequencies that are out there when it comes to setting up a repeater. Um, when we had repeaters on the network, I don't know what frequency they're on. They could be on a fucking hand frequency for all I know. That is not information. That is on the end user to make sure that they're staying in their lane. And if that end user gets busted, the end user gets busted. It's not anybody else's across the network that's responsible for it. It's the person who put up that physical transmitter and broadcasting it somewhere else. It's not the person on the other end of it. You got to use your brain here, people. And to be honest, I, I'm not okay. So I may smear the FCC, but the, also the other thing is, though, is I know how the FCC works. And <clears throat> for a while there, I wasn't sure if what we were doing was legal. I mean, I've been doing this for five years now, and there's still a giant gray area if this shit is legal or not. And, well, now everybody's throwing out their call signs on all these different things. And if it was illegal, I mean, like I say, it's the FCC's job to come knock on our door and tell us that this shit's illegal. Not mine, not any other admins. And, yes, you might look up my physical call sign on the FCC's database, but... You guys got to remember, I make these videos and I have people calling me names, telling in groups that I have mental illnesses and you really think I want them to know where I live? I mean, where I'm at, what I do? No. And I might let a little bit on, but I, I, I tip my hand where I want it. And I make my videos where I want to, including my little death dungeon here. So I'm just saying, you want to smear it, but you also forget that GMRS is open to family members. And I have family that would put their name on something for me. I just don't smear it out there for everybody to hear. And I don't make the people on the network do the same thing. I, now, it's your choice. Your choice. I never once physically told the people to stop doing it. I just tell them we kind of don't because we haven't. And, and it's for some couple of reasons. And sometimes we have older folks on here that don't remember their call sign. Yes, it might be good for them to say it repeatedly, but some of them don't remember their call sign. And I'm okay with that. <clears throat> I'm just trying to take little sips. Normally I would sit there and smash on it, but my stomach's still really queasy. So, yeah, I leave little tidbits in my videos that I know will make a certain somebody kind of jolt and make some kind of assumption or some kind of uh, play, per se, a response. And then, uh, you know, me and that person have never actually spoken. He might say we've spoken. I don't remember ever speaking to him. And, uh, you know... But it is what it is. That was over five years ago if I've spoken to him. Obviously, people change because, I mean, he went from going to charge people a donation, a mandatory donation to uh, another mine. Uh, that's to forget what you've seen. So um, I got a little lengthy on this video. Like I say, ho hopefully you guys have a uh, happy new year as well.